these babies that you will be carrying are not yours. Us surrogates cannot just take the baby and decide we're gonna keep it. What if the intended parents change their mind and they no longer want the baby or the babies. As surrogates, we actually have our own lawyers that are actually paid for by the intended parents to protect them and to protect us from things like, God forbid, a surrogate decides, I want these babies, I'm gonna keep these babies, and she just goes crazy. So in the event that the intended parents change their mind and they no longer want the baby, they usually have to have a backup of someone that will take the baby or in other circumstances, they would be put out for adoption. Us surrogates cannot just take the baby and decide we're gonna keep it. We would basically have to go through the whole adoption process just like any other individual if we did want to adopt the child or the children. Iris is a surrogate and is revealing the truth about what can really happen during pregnancy. If one of the intended parents pass away, then the other parent is still in charge of taking the child. They still need to stick to their part of the contract. Now, let's say if both parents, God forbid, pass away, they usually have somebody who, like I said, will be a backup to take the child or the children. Us surrogates are not automatically responsible or we take the responsibility to take the child or the children. Whilst explaining what could potentially happen during a pregnancy, Iris answers one of every surrogate's most asked questions. Let's say if they do decide to change their minds that they no longer want the child or they do pass away, that doesn't mean that you as a surrogate stop getting paid. So you still get paid what you are owed, you're still gonna continue to receive your payments. And that's another reason why there is also a contract because all of that basically protects you as a surrogate. So you don't need to worry about possibly not getting paid if something goes wrong. The only time you ever stop getting paid is, God forbid, you lose the baby or the babies and that's basically the only time you'll ever stop getting paid the thing to keep in mind though is that the intended parents and the surrogates actually get screened by a psychologist before even starting a journey or before even getting accepted for the um, agency they want to make sure that you're basically okay mentally and that you understand that these babies are not yours. So they wanna make sure that they don't have this like crazy surrogate lady that's just gonna go crazy and take the babies or you know, the parents aren't gonna eventually change their mind because we do have to remember that these parents spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and even trying to make this happen so wow iris is incredible and really knows her stuff when it comes to being a surrogate people in the comments had a lot to say about this for example this is so interesting i've never thought about these circumstances before i wonder what it's like in the uk though and you can't make everyone happy no matter how hard you try it's beautiful that you do this to help a family that for some reason or another can't. As always, thanks for watching Happiest. If you like this video, then be sure to follow our other social pages for more eye-opening videos like this. And if you have any of your own videos you'd like to share, be sure to send them in.